Hello there, I'm really proud to announce today that we're realising a long-held ambition across the further education and training sector, the movement to an outcome-based funding model for FET, a funding model based on the recommendations of a review from an independent expert panel. The publication of this report is a true milestone moment in the development of our further education and training system in Ireland. And it comes at a time when we all know and we all recognise that FET needs to expand its role and its contribution in meeting the needs of our economy and more importantly our society. This simplified funding model will be vital in making that happen. This is of course the product of extensive consultation by an expert panel over the last number of years with close engagement with my own department, with SULUS, with education and training boards and key stakeholders including industry staff and learner representatives. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your commitment and your hard work in getting us to this welcome stage. The system and the education and training boards that operate at regional level have already developed significantly in recent years. They've established structures, they've built up their capabilities, and they've adopted a more strategic response to meeting current and evolving skills needs. This new, simpler five-pot model puts a focus on providing core funding to allow each ETB to be an effective and strategic deliverer of FET, which meets the needs of their regions. One pot will ensure that resources go into key areas like quality assurance, enterprise engagement and consistent learner support, agile programme development and data analysis. Other pots will be about provision, including one dedicated to supporting apprenticeship delivery, FET pathways to equip learners with employability skills and wraparound supports, funding designed around employment and higher education transition, and a new discretionary funding pot for competitive funding calls, which will targetly respond to government initiatives and reward high-performing ETBs. This new funding approach will allow for investment in critical capabilities that will enable transformation in areas like learner support, digitalisation, quality assurance, agile course development and capital infrastructure. But it must drive innovation and it must drive growth in FET provision and facilitate the harmonisation of FET programmes. It will ensure fairness and transparency in how FET is funded and it will more clearly link to learner outcomes generated by ETBs. In addition, the new funding model will also recognise the individual characteristics and challenges faced by education and training boards. With the expert recommendations finalised, we're now moving to an implementation group to drive forward the delivery of this new funding model. With representatives from my department, the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform, SULIS, the ETBs and learner staff and employer representatives. One of the points made by the expert panel was the importance of FET not just as an education and training offering, but also as a key component of Irish society. I can't wait to see what lies ahead for the FET future. This truly is its time. I believe the future is bright. This more flexible, demand-led funding model will be a further catalyst for growth and change across the system. Thank you so much.